Hi, it's Brad Reeser again. We're out in Oak Tree. Back up to National, 11th hole. I want to show you this house. The owner bought it in 2018 and completely redid this house. There isn't a surface really that hasn't been touched in this house. She's added some phenomenal light fixtures, countertops, appointments to this house. She spent a lot of money on it. This is something that you really may be able to take advantage of. I want you to come in and look. If you love golf course living, come on in and look at this house. I'll start with your storm doors. Wood storm doors on the outside of your doors here. It's beautiful. Double doors, easy to move things in. We've got a mix of wood floors, tile floors. She has put light in there that are absolutely died for. But come on in, I'm gonna show you. Check out that light fixture. They are gorgeous. This owner has really, really fantastic taste and she really shows it off in this house. You know, long dining rooms are pretty difficult to really have conversations at, but with this, a round table or a large square table works great in here. It can work great for entertainment. I want to show you her masterpiece and that's the kitchen she's rigged down here. High-end finishes, these cabinets were painted. They've got three coats on them. They're amazing. Thermidor appliances that were put in in 2018. I want you to just look at this, how this just flows all the way through this kitchen club, family area, whatever you would like to call it. Built in Thermidor ovens, warming oven, microwave, Sub-Zero, Bosch dishwasher, and Blanco Onyx tops. Probably not gonna find a lot of houses with that. We've got it in here. Five burner gas, Thermidor oven. This is uh, a fantastic room. All these rooms are very light and bright. But look at the knotty pine beams, and they go all the way through the kitchen. And I gotta show you this light fixture again. She did such a fantastic job with that. Look at that kitchen fixture over the center of it. This is a great house, folks. So we have access out to a patio that looks again over the 11th green. I'm going to walk you outside and show you that, but this is just, it's fabulous view outside. This is your formal area. Again, a fireplace. So uh, there's three fireplaces in this house. We have one in the master, one in the kitchen club, and one here in the formal living. Great glass, great place to watch golf. Everything's maintained. It's like living on 15 acres. One of my favorite parts about this house is this study and what uh, the owner was able to do. She found some old post office doors. She had them repurposed to close off like barn doors. That's about as nice as it gets. Come on in and take a look at this study. Got, really, this is a dark brown, real rich stain on this with library paneling, coffered ceilings. Uh, this thing's fantastic, but you get a lot of light because you've got a great window. Now this house has four bedrooms. We've got three on this level, so we're going to take a look at those. But this is a real nice gallery area that takes you around to the bedrooms. So it's nice and wide, easy to get furniture in. Bedroom number one has a very nice closet with a built-in in the back. You've got lots of glass again. Plantation shutters. Come look at this bathroom. This is a cool bathroom. It's got a great soaking tub, claw foot. And who's not going to enjoy being a guest at this house? There's all the qualities here, two inch slab doors, all solid pool. A lot of times we forget about storage, it's important, We've got plenty. We've got double doors that open into the master, and this master is great size. So you have plenty of room for a sitting area. This would be about my favorite place to sit and drink coffee. 
because we can watch folks on that putting green just about all day. But you're far enough away from the course where you still have privacy. And we've got a door in the bedroom that goes out to the cigar porch. Cigar smoker, enjoy a Monte Cristo out there. This is one great bathroom. Separate vanities, nice big again soaking tub, nice shower. Now, for that special guest that comes over, or maybe someone that spends some time with you, we've got a great private suite up here. Or this makes a great kids' bedroom and a family game room. This is on its own separate thermostat, so you can cool this thing down as cool as you want. This is a fantastic room. So, right now, we've got uh, a young adult that lives up here, and she's got the run of the place. So, great window again, looks out over the 11th green here at Nashville. These are tile floors, wood, look, wood like tile floors up here. This is nice space for whatever you'd want to do. We've got a great bedroom here. Isn't that fun? We've got the two dormers with the bookshelves in them and a window. This cute bathroom, this thing was completely torn out and redone right after the owner bought it, part of a remodel. She really did a nice job with this. And then, hey, we always need that extra room. This is a fun room for little kids. Great room to store stuff in if you'd like. Got a skyline in here. It's wonderful. Come on out and look at the backyard. This is a great space. Great shade, cool breeze. See the cigar porch off the master. Let's see if he sinks his putt. He's over the ball. Oh, so close. Folks, you won't find a better place if you're a golf enthusiast to live then right here on the 11th hole of Oak Tree National. If you'd like to see the house, come on out. You can give me a call at 405-990-8262 to set up a private tour for you or reach out to us online at bradreeser.com. Thanks. You're going to love this house. We look forward to seeing you soon.